Hi everyone. Here we'll try to create a simple room automation system using packet tracer. We'll construct it in the simplest possible way. Click on Cisco packet tracer and log in as usual. This is your workspace. In the bottom left corner, you have the components like network devices, end devices, the other components, switches, routers, hubs, wireless devices, connections and all other miscellaneous things. First click on network devices, under this click wireless devices. You can choose home gateway from here. Just drag and drop it here. This home gateway will help you to connect all the IoT components. Next click on end devices, under this again click end devices. Here you can find a smartphone, drag and drop it here. This smartphone will help you to access all the IoT components connected in the application. Then under the same end devices, click on home. Here you can find all the IoT components which you can use for the application of room automation. I'll choose a light, I'll choose a door, then I'll choose a fan, then I'll choose a fan. To create a perfect look for the room, you can click this draw rectangle and choose the rectangle here and draw a room. This is optional. It will just help you to give a perfect view. That's it. You can close this. In order to move out from this, you can click this escape. Now we have a fan, we have a light and we have a door. We need to connect all these components to the home gateway. Actually it is wirelessly connected but still we need to set a password here. So first click on home gateway. You can see the physical configuration of it. Click on config. The display name is home gateway. Here click wireless. Here you can see the SSID home gateway. Just copy it or make a note of it. Next here in authentication you can see WPA2 PSK that is passphrase. This is the password which we need to set. We can give any password. I give it as get connect. The only condition here is the minimum number of characters should be 8. If it is below 8, the password will not get accepted. So choose a password with minimum of 8 characters. That is it. Close it. Now you can see you have a home gateway. This is not connected with any of the components. Now we have to enter into each of this component and set the password there. First we will click on fan. Whenever you click any component, first you will get into the specifications of it. Have a look on it. You will get the features, the usage, how you can control it, whether you have direct control, what is the local control, remote control, the data specifications, how you can use it. You will have all the details. So whenever you click a component, first have a look on the specifications. Then click on configuration. Here first is the display name. It will be named as IoT1, IoT2 and so on. So we will give the display name as fan. This is optional. It is better to give the name of the component so that it will be easy for us while we write the program or while we use it in conditions. Next, in this IoT server, click home gateway so that it gets connected to home gateway. Next, click on this advanced and click IO configuration. Here, go and see where it is connected. It should be connected to wireless that is 1W. So always this should be connected to 1W for wirelessly connecting the devices. Next, click on configuration. Here go click wireless. Here you can see WPA2 PSK passphrase. Click this and set the password that is get connect. The same password which we set in home gateway. That's it. Now you can see the fan will get connected to home gateway. Next we will click on light. Read the specifications once how you can control it, how you can access it everything. Then click on configuration. Here give the display name as light then set the IOT server to be home gateway so that it will get connected to home gateway click on advanced IO configuration check whether it is connected to 1W wireless then click on configuration choose wireless here set the password the password is get connect that's all you can close it now the light will get connected to home gateway Next, click on door, look into the specifications of it, how you can control it and other details, the data specifications. 
click on configuration here give the name door then click home gateway here then click on wireless set the password get connect then click on advanced click io configuration see whether it is connected to 1w yes that's it now the door is also connected to home gateway here all the iot components are connected to home gateway in a wireless manner by setting a password for it now we'll connect the smartphone to the home gateway so that we'll be able to access the iot components connected here so before connecting the smartphone to home gateway click on home gateway click on this lan and see the ipv4 address and the subnet mask we are not going to use the subnet mask now just have a look on the ipv4 address alone it is 192.168.25.1 make a note of it now click on smartphone click configuration you can see the display name then click wireless set the password hit connect then you can see here ssid as we have already noted it is home gateway we have copied it just copy it here or you can type home gateway then click desktop here you can directly click iot monitor you will get into this window you can just click login sometimes it will get in if you get request timeout just close it click on web browser and put the ip address here 192.168.25.1 click enter or go you will get this home gateway login just type admin admin and give submit you can see here all the iot components that is used in the application been connected to the smartphone you can access these components in two ways first is you can directly access the components from smartphone just click on the components now you can see the status of the fan is off click on low you can see the fan is running under low condition you can click on high the fan runs under high condition similarly get into light the light is in off mode now click on dim it will glow in a dim way click on on the light glows in a brighter way similarly you can see the door access here when the door is having this green arrow it means the door is open if you want to lock it click on lock it will have a red symbol now the door is locked so using your smartphone you can directly access the iot components connected in the application switch off the fan switch off the light unlock the door this is one way of doing it next thing is you can automate all the components this automation can be done in two ways the first way of automating the components is using conditions so click on conditions here here you can set the conditions you can give any name i give it as door open you can set the conditions here if the door is open is true that is when the door is open you can set the action here set fan status to be high you can add another condition set light status to be on give okay first condition is set if you want to remove it you can click remove and remove it if you want to edit click here you can go and edit the conditions here and give okay now in order to add another condition click add i give a name here door close and try to set the condition here if the door open is false that is if the door is closed then we set the condition to be fan status to be off add another action light status to be off click okay now you can notice here we have set two conditions when the door is open fan and light is on when the door is closed fan and lights are off this is one way of automatic by using conditions you can also automate the system by programming it so in order to program it click on editor you will get this window here click on new and you can give the name you can give it as door open or anything then you can choose any language which you are comfortable with to write 
so it can be python java or anything then click on create then you can write the program whichever is comfortable for you you can use it i preferably use conditions because i feel that is easier so you can close it click on conditions so we have set two conditions we'll see how it works in order to access the door we have read in specifications that is we have to click on alt and click on the door so click on alt in your keyboard and click on the door the door is open when the door is open the fan and light is on again click on alt in your keyboard and click on the door the door is closed now the fan and the lights are off when the door is open the fan and lights are on when the door is closed the fan and the lights are off this is how we create a simple room automation system using packet racer you can add many more components here like motion detector and many other components and make the system more complex it is up to you and your creativity try this circuit and let me know how it works thank you for watching this video if you find this video to be useful kindly subscribe it and share it with your friends